words and their effect on our DNA. For centuries, spiritual teachers and yogi gurus believe that our bodies are programmable by language and thoughts. For one, they taught us that meditations cause inner healing and open up our minds to higher levels of consciousness. They also taught us that constant affirmations can change our energies. In the study of spirituality, language is a powerful tool not only in meditation and affirmations but also in other spiritual methods, especially in hypnosis. Recently, a group of Russian scientists and linguists delved into the study of human DNA, and what they found out supports the concept that language truly has an effect on our bodies that goes beyond the aspects of psychology. The Russian biophysicist and molecular biologist Dr. Peter Garyaev and his team studied the dominant part of our DNA which is considered junk DNA. According to science, only 10% of our DNA is used to build proteins. Does this mean that only 10% of our DNA is utilized for the construction of our human bodies leaving the 90% as useless or junk DNA? Garjadra believed that this prevalent part of our DNA is there for a purpose. He presupposed that 90% is used for data storage and in communication. They discovered that 90% of our DNA has a linguistic purpose. It contains natural grammar that has set rules just like the different human languages that we are using now. This explains that human languages did not just appear spontaneously. Instead, they are a product of what lies in 90% of our DNA. The dominant part, after all, is not simply just junk DNA, but it plays a big role in communication. Furthermore, Garjaj Rev analyzed the vibrational behavior of the said junk DNA. He experimented on what forms of energy does this part of the DNA reacts to and how it reacts. What they found out was fascinating. 90% of our DNA reacts with a certain kind of frequency, one that has language features. This means that a big part of our DNA will react to language in the form of modulated laser rays that they use during their experiment or to radio waves like the ones found in our voices. Through their experimentation, Garjajrev and his team came to the conclusion that our DNA can be modified without cutting out or replacing any gene. We can modify it through radio waves in the form of our words. Such a form of energy might not produce results as strong and immediate as produced by a modulated laser ray but with constant application, it will create a change in our DNA. Likewise, the same researchers also discover that a change in our DNA can cause wormholes. Wormholes are microscopic equivalents of black holes and they also have the same qualities. They serve as holes or bridges to other universes or dimensions and facilitate an exchange of information through time and space. This information then is absorbed by the junk DNA and causes DNA modification. This discovery displays the data storage capacity of 90% of our DNA. In connection with the study of spirituality, the data received from other dimensions are the impressions that we obtain from the spiritual realm and such impressions create a change in us. An example of these changes includes the acquisition of psychic intuition or inner healing. A lot of people think that the fields of science and spirituality contradict each other but this recent study just proves to us that such belief is far from true.